Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here. It's time for another beer review. Uh, but what we're going to do today is we're going to do two in one. Uh, we've done it before. We've, we've done beers against each other that we've done three at a time at one point. Um, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to patch off a review of a beer that I really struggled to find. Um, so we were talking, we've done reviews on, uh, we're going back to Tesco in terms of supermarket beers on this. And we're looking at their um, Cloudwater Core Range. So it's a core range from Cloudwater in Manchester. It was brewed up at Scotland Brewdog uh, and it caused some controversy. Some people said the beers were rubbish, some people said they were great. Um, I've done the se Session uh, Pale Ale, I've done the Session IPA, I've done the Double Dry Hopped Pale, but I couldn't find the IPA. Well, guess what? Found it. Uh, before we go any further, if you have just found us here on YouTube, give us a like, share and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Go on, do it. You found us. We're here. Hey, hey, the Hop House. Hop you be a good house music. Um, so we're, we're, I, I've finally found the, the Tesco Cloudwater IPA. Again, couldn't find it in my local Tesco. I found it in a little Tesco Express near work. I picked it up and I thought, oh my God. So I've got two cans of it. So I, I have tried it. So this isn't a virgin beer review. Sorry. I just had to get in there and try it. But also, down in my beer stash down here, I had the original Brewdog versus Cloudwater, which came out in Tesco about 18 months ago, just over a year ago. I haven't reviewed that yet either. So I thought, I was looking at the cans and I was like, cool. So they're both sort of IPAs, uh, they're both 6%, and they're both Brewdog and Cloudwater. But which one's best? Okay, so we're going to do a, a, a taste off. So, in uh, glass number uno, which is my missus's gin glass, it's got the red tint at the bottom. Don't let that put you off when we pour it in the glass. It's just it's good for jigging. Good glass for jigging. Uh, in this one, it is the New England IPA. It is the Brewdog versus Cloudwater. Uh, this oh, it's six point eight percent. I thought it was just straight up six. Six point eight. Oh crikey. Oh. I messed up there, I thought they were both six. Anyway, you get the idea. We're still going to put them up against each other. It's a 440 milliliter can, three of your English pounds at Tesco. So that is the Brewdog versus Cloudwater. And this is the bad boy that I really struggled to get hold of. So this is the Cloudwater. Oh, it's got some ice on it, so I had to put it in the freezer to chill it down a bit. Um, Cloudwater Core Beer in Tesco. This is the IPA. It says it's soft and juicy. 6% ABV, again, 440 milliliter can, £3.50. So this is 50p more than the other one. Um, but it's it's branded as cloud water. All it says is where it's brewed, which is at um, Balmacassie Commercial Park, Ellen, Scotland, i.e. the brew dog site. But it is branded as a cloud water beer. And we're going to stick that into the coracle glass. Uh, a lot of people have said that the four pack, uh, they do a four pack as well called Beers with Big Ideas um, for a tennis so that works out 250 a can. Uh, and there's four beers there that, that Brewdog, that Cloudwater have brewed at Brewdog with smaller breweries. And they highlight smaller breweries, Beer with Big Ideas. Uh, I've heard that's really good, but I can't find that for Toffee. I've tried. The Tesco's near my work. I've tried two Tesco's near to me uh, in the Shropshire area. Nah, not finding that. So good, good, good luck to those. Good effort for those people who have found it. Well, actually, we get these beers out into the glass and see what we get. We'll start with the uh, Mammoth New England IPA. So it's New England IPA. We expect it to be cloudy and hazy and sort of maybe a bit orangey. Um, expect it to be a bit sweeter. On the taste, but we're not getting to the taste yet. We're just looking at appearance. Uh, I could pour this whole can out, but I'm not going to. The reason being is, there you go. I'll do that. There we go. The reason being is that cork glass doesn't hold the whole can. So I've got the whole can in one and not the other. It's a bit unfair, right? Look at that. Quite light in colour. Ignore the red hue at the bottom, the red tint. That is just the glass. Uh, very light in colour. Bit of a white head on it. Um, cloudy, hazy. Very New England-esque. Yeah, yellowy to light orange. 
Looks, in fact, with that red tint at the bottom, looks like a sunset, doesn't it? Or or a sex on the beach. There you go. Right, that looks good. I like the look of that. Should we get the cloud water IPA out into the glass? Six percent. This is. I can't remember if I said it in there or not. So the uh, the cloud blue dog versus cloud water is actually stronger. I thought for some reason they were both six percent. My bad. Right now, this just says it's an IPA. It doesn't say it's a New England IPA. However. Cloud Water are called Cloud Water because they were the first brewery or one of the first breweries in this country to do cloudy beer. That's poured a lot better, hasn't it? I think it's just the way I poured it. I'm sure, if I jig that around, I'll get the head going a bit more. There we go. It's all about the jigging, baby. It's all about the jigging. Jig, 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 jig. There you go. But yeah, look at this. It's um, again similar sort of colour and style. Uh, light yellowy yellowy orange uh clearer white head it looks like a more of a clearer white head than the other one certainly um frothier foamier fluffier creamier looking white head um but yeah it looks it looks beautiful it looks beautiful new england ipas or these hazy style of beers are really taking over now people are probably sick to, sick to the back teeth of them i mean i know uh, i was watching another beer reviewer actually on youtube and he um because i was thinking of doing these once i picked this up but i picked it up towards the end of last month and so i've been off the beer in june so i thought i'm going to do it in july uh, and then not long ago i actually saw another beer review he did, he did four in comparison I, I decided to do these side by side prior to this it was my idea i, I didn't nick it um but he did four, so he did. But it was all the Brewdog versus. So he did the Brewdog versus Cloudwater, Brewdog versus Northern Monk, which we've done. Uh, the Vermont Sessions, which is a session IPA, lovely beer. Uh, and then he did was Brewdog versus Salt, which is in Tesco. Again, I've not seen that in my local Tesco's. Uh, and Brewdog. This was one in Sainsbury's. I don't tend to go to Sainsbury's a lot. Brewdog versus McKellar. So the, all four of them are in New England style IPAs, and he just put them out in the glass, and they looked. Like this, they look side by side, they look similar. Or, sorry, not similar, they looked identical. And then that got me thinking, my God, there's a lot of New England IPAs out there, but people are sick to the back teeth of them. So then sometimes when they then go back and have a West Coast IPA and, and the pungent bitterness comes through, I'm just like, whoa, where's that been? Um, sometimes I do miss that bitterness. I, I, like, I like my West Coast stuff. Stuff that I used to hate and now it's a style that I go for. Right, anyway, we got. I was waffling there. Apologies for the waffling. We're getting back to this. Right, let's get the noses in there. It's time to give them a whiff and see what we can sniff. So, Brewdog versus Cloudwater first up. As I say, I'll jig it a bit. Jig, 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 just to get the head going a little bit. There we go. And get ready for lace division. For those that love the lacing. Ooh. Ooh. Dirty beggar. Lace vision brought to you by the Hop House. Yeah, it's clinging to the side of the glass nicely. Look at it, look at it when I jig it. Oh, look at it now. Look at it swirl around in that glass. Wicked. Right, whiffing, sniffing, let's go. New England style, through and through. You're getting um, fruity notes. Peachy and orangey tartness. Smell a little bit of the alcohol in there as well. It is 6.8%. Something about it that smells a bit brew doggy though. The brew dog beers tend to have a certain something in the aroma and certain something in the taste. Like a burnt, burnt met, metal, metallic sort of smell. Only tiny, it's not big, not enough to put me off, but that does smell really good. I like the smell of that. Right then, on to the Cloud Water IPA. This is the one that I found so difficult to get hold of. Again, we'll swill it in the glass. Lace vision. Look at that lace. Look at that. See the bubbles chasing the head? Don't know if the camera will pick it up actually. I'm looking at it. It's hypnotizing me. Hypnotize. I just smell it, shall I? Hmm, more subdued. 
much more subdued smell than the Brudeau versus Cloud Water. Yeah, I'm getting some sort of zingy tropical zestiness. Not getting that um, burnt sort of metallic-y smell. It might not even be burnt metallic -y. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not that great on describing the uh, aromas, I have to say. Now I've jigged it around a bit more, I am getting more fruit out of it. Smells a bit sweeter actually than the Brewdog Cloud Water. Hmm. It's got my taste buds going, so the sort of they know what's coming. They're looking forward to it. We're ten and a half minutes in, so let's bottoms up and down the hatch and actually get to the important bit, which is the taste. So actually I'm gonna do it the other way around because that one's stronger. I thought they were both six percent. So we'll go with the cloud water. This is a Tesco cloud water six percent IPA, three pound fifty a can. Made to cloud water's recipe, brewed at Brewdog and permanent beer, I believe, exclusive to Tesco. Bottoms up down the hatch, Charles. Oh, oh that's really nice and cold. I stuck it in the freezer for a bit. Because sometimes my fridge takes a while to... If I've had beers in the fridge for a while, it's okay, but these have been in the freezer. Obviously, they're not iced up. They're nice and cold. Mmm. Oh, my word. Yes. That is really nice. And it doesn't taste brew doggy. I thought it might do, but it doesn't. This is nice than I had it last time. Maybe we should put more beers in the freezer. So, flavour wise, there's real sweetness to go with the fruitiness. It sort of hits you all at once. It's down the middle of the, the beer. The initial taste is a bit tart. And then, wham, down the sides of your tongue and in the, in the middle. So the sweetness from the, um, from the malt and, and the oats and things hits you. The same time as the zestiness down the side of the tongue. Uh, if you hear a noise, I think it's the flat upstairs hoovering. She loves a hoover. She loves a good hoover. I think her surname's Dyson. Um, so, yeah, it's really quite um, zesty and fruity. You've got, but it's sweet. It's sweet tropical fruits. So let me just see if I can pick out any in particular. Stand by. Some definite passion fruit in there, some lemon, lime, um, definite passion fruit in there, lemony, limey, bit of mango. It's more sweet than tart actually, that is quite a sweet IPA. It just says IPA, it doesn't say New England IPA, but I'd say that's very much to New England style. The back end, it dries off quite quickly, leaves a tad bit of tartness on the back end, but it is not bitter. It's definitely not bitter. So I'd say there's a lot of dry hopping been done in creating this beer. Um, it is to the New England style, even though it's just labeled as IPA. Right, we get on to the Brewdog versus Cloud Water, the daddy. This has been rated very highly actually when this came out 18 months ago. Um, and I have bought it a few times. But I thought, let's review it side by side and see how it goes, see how she goes. Again, it tastes stronger. Mm. Apologies, smells stronger. I've only just tasted it. Ooh. Again, the smell was there. Maybe if you leave it out of the out in a glass for a bit, that tinniness that sometimes is in brew dog disappears. It's thicker. Thicker in the mouth feel. It's more intense. It's not as sweet. It's more tart. And there is a, more of a bitterness on the back end. Uh, the aftertaste is more tarty, a little bit bitter. Oh, there is a tiny little bit of that brew doggy sort of metallic taste. It's it's sort of m metallic slash strong alcohol spirity. And it tends to be in a lot of their beers. It was in a lot of the other um, Cloudwater ones, apart from the Session. 
3.7% session was a really nice beer. It was a lowest strength one, but it was really cracking. There was lots of flavours in there for the 3.7% ABV. And I absolutely loved it. I thought it, I thought it, was, I thought it was wonderful. But that is, again, it's lovely. I'm going to start putting beers in the free, freezer. It's going to be my thing. Eddie's beers in the freezer. Beers in the freezer with Ed. You can definitely taste the alcohol more in this. It is a bit stronger, six to six point eight percent. Um, it's thicker in the mouthfeel, so you get the oat, the oats in the beer that's that's making it a bit more clingy. It's a bit more gloopy and clingy in the mouth, like a cling on of a beer, if you like. Um, but again, it's it's very nice. It's very drinkable. Right, let's pour the rest of the cans out into the glass just to see if we get any sediments. Sedimonte, so that's the brew dog cloud water. Um, it looks like it's gone a little bit cloudier, but I can't actually physically see any bits floating around in it. Oh, it's thickened up the head though. Look at that. Again, a rejig. Yeah, that, that metallic-iness has gone. Maybe it's when it's straight out the can. I don't know, it's gone. It's very, very, very little in taste. All right, the, the cloud water. Let's get all that out into the glass again. Still nice and cloudy. Can't see any bits floating around, so maybe they're not can condition beers. That smell, that's a lot sweeter. That is a lot sweeter than that. Right, let's go for another taste. And then, because uh, we're like nearly 70, it's about 17 minutes in, so I've waffled on for way too long, taking up too much of your time of the day. So again, this is the Cloud Water IPA. Look at it, Jig. Look at it. Looks amazing. Smells really fruity, tropical. It's, it is sweet. It is a proper New England style. It's really quite sweet. That is lovely. See, when I tried the IPA on its own, it's funny, isn't it, how, you, you and as I've said before on the channel, you drink things and they affect other things you drink. When I had that Cloudwater IPA on its own, I was a bit like, I was a bit underwhelmed. I was a bit, mm. I thought the session 3.7% was the best beer out of the four. But I'm really, I'm really enjoying that today. I mean, stick it in the freezer. Answer to all your worries. Yeah, that's got a bit more alcohol, cocktaily, spirity taste to it. Um, probably because there's more booze in it. And not by that much, but it is a bit stronger. It's again thicker in the mouth feel. Um, it's not sweet. It's still got tropical fruits going through it. Let me just see if I can pick them out because I just realised I haven't really picked any tropical fruits out there. Individual. The smell's more zesty and grapefruity. Now with this one, with that one, I said the hops and the, and the Zestiness runs down the side at the same time as the malt. This it doesn't. The zestiness takes takes precedent, but then it lingers and sort of tarty aftertaste of fruit in the background. Uh, this is more grapefruity, um, maybe a little bit of mango. No, it's, maybe a little bit, but it's not really that sweet. Again, probably passion fruit, but more a bit more grapefruit in that one. It's a bit tartar, zestier, tartier, and not sweet. Um, in terms of ratings, then, because I'm like coming up to twenty minutes now. Uh, apologies. Ratings. I'm going to give them both two thumbs up. Really, really, really nice beers. Um, if you can afford three pound fifty a can then go check out the Cloudwater IPA. It's actually worth it. It's probably my favourite of the bunch. 
um, when you stuck it in the freezer. The Brewdog versus Cloud Water is 50p cheaper and it's 0.8% stronger and it's been around for longer. So it's so up to you which one you choose. I'd say pick them both. But if I had to have a winner, I think the, the, the actual Cloud Water IPA wins. Just it's, it's, It is sweeter, but it suits the style more. And I think it's a bit lighter in the mouth. And it smells divine. Stick your beers in the freezer, people. Not for too long. They're probably in there about half an hour, maybe. 40 minutes. Maybe not as long as 40 minutes. Half an hour. Two thumbs up from me. Great. I uh, am really happy that I found the Cloudwater IPA. I've got a keep look out for the beers with big ideas. Um, I'm going to have some more reviews coming up on the channel. Uh, I'm, I've got an idea in my head of another sort of comparison that I want to do. It's going to be a three-way. Ooh, uh, but more will be revealed on that as well. Uh, and I'm going to do another dark beer day soon uh, as well on the channel. So thank you very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you again for another beer review right here on The Hop House. Ciao for now, people. Cheers.